And we will start the action in the heavyweight division. Clinton Abreu and Jamel Jones have one opportunity each to earn points and try and snag a spot in the PFL playoffs. There is Jamel Jones, comes from a wrestling background, but this kid can definitely throw bombs with his hands as well. I expect a fast start from Jones tonight. Randy, we talk about wrestling pedigree. This guy, not a big time Division I huge program name, but a Juco national champ, that's a tough thing to get done. Absolutely, and you see why they call him the beast, for crying out loud. He certainly put together, yeah. but he was a Miramac Junior College national champion, Ron Miracatani in St. Louis. Uh, the guy says he's an amazingly talented athlete on and air, across the spectrum. And obviously that shows he's got a boxing background as well, so uh, expect some explosive things from this young man. Abreu, black belt in jiu-jitsu. This guy's got well-rounded, heavy hands. Uh, both these guys knew and, and not seen them compete before, so it's gonna be interesting to see how Clinton Abreu solves the problem of the beast. Yeah, and Randy, this guy's a, a true finisher. Out of his 15 wins, four are knockouts, 10 submissions, so this guy likes to end the fight early. With that, we'll take a look at our tail of the tape as we open the action here on ESPN Plus in the heavyweight division. Jones, five years older, he's two inches shorter. Vincent Abreu came in heavier. Same reach on the arms, an advantage to Jones in the leg reach. It's Brazil versus the United States as we get going here with Lillian Garcia. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome from Atlantic City. These are the final bouts of the 2021 regular season of the Professional Fighters League. It is win or go home, and we begin the evening in the heavyweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is a boxer. Standing at six feet tall, he weighs in officially at 245 pounds. In 16 professional bouts, he has a record of 10 victories and six losses with seven wins by way of knockout. Fighting out of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, here is Jamel the Beast Jones. His opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he is a jiu-jitsu practitioner. Standing at 6'2", he weighs in officially at 258 pounds. In 20 professional bouts, he has a record of 15 victories, four losses, and one no contest, with 14 wins by way of stoppage. Fighting out of Manaus, Brazil, here is Gleason Whitebeard Abreu. Your referee in charge, Gary Copeland. Gary Copeland equipped with our ref cam. We've got some great shots from that thing over the last few weeks. Little demonstration of what it looks like inside our smart cage. Leeds and Abreu in the blue trunks. Jamel Jones, his fellow newcomer in the black and gray. Southpaw stance for both men. Kick attempt there from Cleats and Abreu. This time, Jamel Jones catches the kick and dumps Abreu right oh. to his back. Big hammer fist to start the action. Emphatic effort from the top there by Jamel Jones. Now double underhooks in control of the leg for Cleats and Abreu. Yeah, nice timing on that takedown there by Jones. But Abreu not in a horrible spot there with that right underhook. He can potentially get back to his feet or attack the back of Jones. Let's see if he's able to do it. Nice job by Abreu to get the double underhooks now pulling full guard. Yeah. 
Well, I'm Jones, I back up and make this guy stand up. This is a guy that's got 10 submissions to his credit. This is the one place he can give Jones a fit. Left hand snuck in there from Jamel Jones from the top as Fleetson Abreu is able to work his way up to that single. Jones with a nice sprawl. And Randy, I think that's a good call. Abreu almost got that sweep and got on top of Jones there. Tell you what, Jamel Jones has some heavy hammer fists coming down. Yeah, from the sure top. does. Those were sledgehammer fists. Yes. <laughs> oh, those are oh, heavy shots. Abreu looked like his head was bouncing off the canvas a little bit. Oh, oh ready to step in. That's, that's it. it. That's it. Finishes for Jamel Jones. And that is rare to see a guy get knocked out with a hammer fist. You see him get their bell rung good, but I think he knocked him out cold. He's slow getting up. Yep, there was one that stunned him, and there were several that followed up for the finish. There's that excellent timing on that takedown there from Jamel Jones. He was clearly confident on the ground despite that Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt from Abreu. He was trying to go to work early, and it was these hammer fists right there, Randy. Just absolute brutality there. Yeah, there was definitely no love lost in any of those shots. Holy cow. And how about for the third straight week in a row, Ian Parker <laughs> cashing on the underdog in the opening fight of the night. One more look at the end of the fight here. Oh boy. No thank you on those. I think you called them sledgehammer fists. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Jamel Jones staring down his own hands and saying, yeah, there's power in these bad boys. <laughs> Time now for the Cajunomic Stats Bundle presented by Geico. You saw how many of them landed early. One takedown and 29 strikes on the ground. That'll do. It's official next. There's a look at our Rich Energy Fighter Performance rating. The only way to score the maximum 100 in a round is to get a finish, and Jamel Jones just did so in his PFL debut emphatically, knocking out Clinton Abreu via hammer fist. Wowza. One more look at the Rich Energy replay from the ref cam perspective, Gary Copeland's view of the action. Yeah, those are some very precise shots on the temple and across the jaw, and Clayson just could not recover from those. Wow. <coughs> Tell you what, that's from inside the guard of a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. A lot of power being generated, Randy. Absolutely, he used his wrestling to scramble and stay in position where I thought he should have backed up. He stayed right in there, scrambled well, got to that cross side position and hammered him out. Jamel Jones is a problem at heavyweight. Six points. Lillian Garcia makes it official. Ladies and gentlemen, the stoppage comes officially at one minute and 43 seconds of round number one. Your winner by TKO and earning six points in the heavyweight division, Jamel Jones!